Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you a new way to display variations. Well, I'm actually going to show you two new ways to display variations, both within a table layout, as you can see on this page. And a lot of people get frustrated at the way that variations are displayed in WooCommerce by default, i.e. you can only select variations from a very specific drop-down on the single product page only. You can't view or select variations anywhere else on your website, whether it's normal pages, blog posts, even on the shop page and category pages. You have to click through to the single product page to view and select your variations. And a lot of people think that isn't good enough. And that's where what I'm going to show you comes in. I will show you how to create a drop down of your variations in a table, which you can add anywhere on your site, whether that's to the uh, main product page by adding it directly to a category template, to adding any um, normal page within your website. So you could just put it on any static page. And you can also add this in a, on the single product page if you want to, to create a different type of layout with more information in it. Um, so we've got a drop down option here where this is a product and the variations are listed here um, as drop downs. So you've got a different drop down list for each attribute which creates the variations. And when you select them, you can see information such as the stock level, um, the image changes, and you can add to the cart. I'm also going to tell you how to create a table listing the variations, either for one product or for multiple products. Here we have one variable product listed in a table with four variations, each on its own line. And you can see the variation image, the name of the variation, which is the product name followed by the attributes. It's each got a unique description, different stock levels, prices, and you can choose whether to have an add to cart button and or whether to have a multi-select option so that people can tick lots of products and add them to the cart in a single click. We're going to do it using the WooCommerce product table plugin, which is one of the plugins by ourselves at Bantu Media. And you can use this plugin to list either lots of products in a table view or variations for specific products. Um, and it comes with different options to display variations, which is what I'm telling you about now. So here's how to do it. So to list your variations anywhere on your website, first of all, you need a WordPress site with WooCommerce installed and you need to create some variable products. As you can see here, I've got four variable products. You can tell they're variable because there's a price range instead of just one price and that reflects the price for the different variations. Um, we're going to do it with the Ninja Hoodie product. So I'll just show you how I've set that up behind the scenes before I tell you how to display that the variations for it elsewhere on your site. So it's a normal WooCommerce product. You've got the title, you've got the main description and so on. I've got a main product image, but what we're looking at here is that I've selected variable product. So a variable product, um, you may know this already, has attributes. Um, the two for my variable product are color and size. And uh, for each attribute, I have ticked used for variations here. And when I do that, it means that on the variations tab, still in the product data section, you can use those attributes to create variations. So what I did was I used this option, create variations from all attributes, and that created four variations for me. Um, because I've got two colors and two sizes, based on those attributes, it created this, these combinations of variations, which makes sense. We'll open up a variation. So for each one, I've uploaded a separate variation image. Now you can use this, if you don't add an image, it will use your main product image for each variation. So it's if each variation looks different, you'll want a different image. If they all look the same and it's just subtle differences between them, then you could not bother with that. Um, you obviously want it enabled so that people can actually purchase the variation. You can choose whether or not to manage the stock I have chosen to manage the stock, mainly so that I can show you how that will look uh, when you list the variations on your site. But if you don't want to manage stock, you don't have to, and you can just select in stock or out of stock. And you also add a price for each variation. It, even if each variation is the same price, just add the price in to, so that it's purchasable. 
And another optional thing is that you can add a description for the variation. And I'll show you where that will display on your website later. So we've got a variable product and let's view it how it looks normally in WooCommerce. So this is what I am not going to show you how to do. Uh, by default, it will list a drop down for each attribute where you can choose the variations. So this is what WooCommerce does without any additional plugins. What I'm going to tell you how to do is to add drop downs elsewhere on your site, not just on the single product page, and also how to create a table of variations, listing these options within a table layout, uh, which you might want to put on the single product page. You might want to put it up here and use CSS or something to hide uh, those. That's one option. You can put a table of variations in the description lower down the page, or you can add it anywhere else on your website. It doesn't have to be just for one product that you can list all your product variations in one large table, or you can just um, create anything you want elsewhere and list the variations. It's pretty flexible. I'll show you how to do that now. So we're gonna go back into the WordPress admin. And what I've done is I have installed the WooCommerce product table plugin on my site. So as I mentioned earlier, you can get that from barn2.co.uk. So you just get the plugin, install it on your site, and once you've done that, you can go to WooCommerce and then Settings. And then you want the Products tab up here. And finally, Product Tables. This is the settings page for the plugin that you just installed, WooCommerce Product Table. And you'll see that there's tons of options which control how your tables of products or variations will display. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all because they're self-explanatory and there's lots of links to get more information. But I'll just tell you that I have chosen certain columns to appear in my tables by default, uh, which are the image, the name of the product or variation, the description, stock level, price, and add to cart button. There's many different columns you can choose. So when you set it up yours, click on this read more link and see what the available columns are. Um, the other thing to note is that you can Where's variations, just trying to find it. There we go. Um, there's a variations option, and I've kept that to the default, which is linked to product page, because I'm going to show you how to change how your variations display directly within a short code in a minute. But to automatically choose a particular variation style for all your tables of variations, you can either choose the drop down list option or the separate rows option. And I'm going to show you how to do both of these things directly in a short code. But if you want the same option for all your product tables, then by all means select it here. And you have to do less work in the short code, which particularly for people who aren't technically minded might be attractive. Just choose it on the settings page and it will work automatically. So that's my plugin settings page. And I'm going to now go to pages, add new. And what I'm gonna do is create a page listing variations for the product that I showed you earlier. So let's call it a table of variations. And what I want to do is click this little toolbar button, insert product table. And the gap, that again is added by the WooCommerce product table plugin. So that will add a short code here, just product underscore table. And if you just save your page and view it, it will list all your products in whatever settings you chose on the plugin settings page a minute ago. Uh, as you know, I chose the, uh, I didn't activate any particular variations options. So I'm gonna do that here. To activate the variations, you just do variations equals, and we're gonna do drop down first. So variations equals drop down. This short code at the moment will list all my products with drop downs for each variation. If you don't want to do that, if you want to display a specific product, then I'll show you how to do that next. I'm going to go back to products and I'm going to find the product which I wanted to show the variations for. Oh, I've got loads of products here, so it'll just take me a minute to find it. So it's in the variable products hoodies category. So I'll just filter by that. And I'm going to show you how to find the variation. It was Ninja Hoodie. So when you view your list of products, if you hover over the title of one, you will see an ID. Now, if you want to show the variations for a specific product only, you need this ID. It's basically the WordPress database ID for the product. So I'm gonna copy this ID. If 
54191 and I'm going to go back into my short code and I will write include equals and then within quotation marks I want to paste in that ID that I just copied. Now that tells WooCommerce product table to only show that one product in a table. So let's, I'll just select full width page to give it more room. I'm going to publish the page and then I'm going to view it. And that will show you what the variations look like with the drop down option. Okay, so here we have a table of variations which just lists one product. It shows the main product description here, but when I select a variation, then you can see some things change. This image changes to use the actual variation image. So if I change the color, you can see the image is actually changing. So that's pretty good. And you'll also notice that the variation description is changing and so is the stock level. So depending on what I choose, the different stocks appear. And it'll tell you, um, you can choose whether to show the actual number of items in stock, which some of my products have, or just whether to say in stock. It's entirely up to you. That was all standard WooCommerce stuff that works in the product table. So the stock is reflected here. And that's how that works. So you can show one product like I'm doing now uh, with its variations as drop downs, or you can show lots of products if you prefer, either all your products, all products from a category, whatever, it's really flexible. And um, next I'm going to show you how to list each variation on a separate row within the table um, instead of just on a single row as we have here. So to do that, you either go back to the plugin settings and change to the variation separate option, or you can do it directly in the short code, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to preview my page again. So it's just reloading. Right, here we have a table of variations. It's exactly the same product, see it's all the Ninja hoodie, but this time each variation combination is listed as a separate row in the table. We've got the correct variation image, we've got the correct variation price, the correct stock level for that variation, and you'll notice that the descriptions are different as well. So it's a full table of variations and you can put this anywhere you like. You might want to add it within a blog post to a normal page in WordPress, to the single product page, lots of different options for doing that. Well, I hope that is useful to you. Um, have a read through the WooCommerce product table knowledge base because there's a lot more you can do. You can add filters above the table, you can hide any of these elements if you want to keep your table of variations really minimal. You can hide stuff like this at the bottom. Um, there's also an option to add multi-select checkboxes so that people can tick their variations and add them to the cart. Actually, that's quite important, so I'll just show you how to do that now. So. If you go cart underscore button equals checkbox and then preview again, then it's going to replace these add to cart buttons when it refreshes with multi-select checkboxes. A lot of our customers do that um, in order to multiple add to cart in this way. So it's a quick way of people to select lots of variations very quickly. So I hope that's useful to you. Thanks for watching. And um, WooCommerce product table is available on our website, barn2.co.uk. And when you buy it, it comes with full support from us at Barn2 Media. So do get in touch if you need any help setting up your variations in a table. Thanks for watching.